So, we were in Disneyland, 8 a.m., rope dropping. Um, did our half marathon yesterday, kind of limped over to Disneyland, got on one ride. Genie Plus is not working, so we couldn't get any lightning lane. So, here we are. We're going to be here all day till fireworks. Hopefully, we survive. <laughs> Legs are a little sore, but not, not like yesterday. Uh, it was pretty much just as bad as yesterday. <laughs> no, I literally thought I was going to puke yesterday after the run. <laughs> Feeling a lot better today. Woke up at 5.13 in the morning and was ready to go. We were in bed by 7.30 p.m. <laughs> True. Woke up at 2.45 a.m. yesterday. Waited in the corrals for, got there at what, 4 a.m.? Yeah. And then waited in our corral for an hour. First five miles wasn't bad. It was a breeze through California Adventures and Disneyland. And, um, poop, watch out. <laughs> then had to dodge a bunch of people. Uh, didn't stop for any of the characters because the lines were super long. Uh, let's see. Had to go to the restroom about mile six. That was my first time doing a run and have to stop and go potty. <laughs> so, for the more interesting Like it. Pirates? Oh, get, yeah, we can do that. The pirates are haunted mansion are probably short. Probably now. haunted mansion. Because that line gets up to like an hour. Alright, haunted mansion it is.
Hmm. Look at that, Google. What he can do and what he should do aren't always the same. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh -huh. I guess you're right. Hello. <laughs> documenting cold bear in her hoodie with her backpack on the front and her sweatpants that we bought because her pants weren't warm enough. I'm an Arizonian, okay? Uh -huh. I get cold easily. Yeah. Trying to make her way We are still alive, barely. <laughs> Walking is hard. It's getting slightly easier, but not not really, not, not so much. No, I'm fine. I was hurting a little last yeah, night you... <laughs> after 10 miles of walking. Yeah, she <laughs> made us walk around the parks for 10 miles after running 13 miles the day before. And like total, I think we did, what, 20 miles the day before? Yeah. Yeah, that she was did, like, seven miles super fun. Oh. And we decided we're going to do the wine and dine in Disney. And Andrew's getting all his friends to go with us. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. <laughs> Technically, Maybe. nobody's committed yet, <laughs> but yeah, but one of yeah, yeah. I mean, Jorge's, Jorge's probably yeah. Yeah, he made the mistake of mentioning it to his wife and daughter, and now they think they're going to Disney World. So he's probably and maybe gonna we'll do the 10K do it. and then the half marathon right after. I mean, I could probably do that. I could do it too. <laughs> I just need to train a Maybe. little more. I wasn't fully 
I was sick a week before coming out with him. This is true. You I was sick all the way up until like the day before we left. It's <laughs> somewhat of a miracle that I didn't get sick. Yeah. Of course, this probably means like as soon as we get home, I'm gonna get sick. Which that well, would be super fun. Be true. You won't be running out. This is true, but you know, I do have work. Yeah, I've been working. And a it's upcoming like trip in like two weeks to Northern California. But it's not like you go to like a hospital for 12 hours no. and you're on your feet for 12 hours. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> what? No. Okay. Trying the, uh, what is this? Impossible shawarma. Impossible shawarma wrap from the shawarma cart in Adventures Campus. It is apparently all yeah. plant based, I think. Yeah, you got a pita, you got um, some plant-based egg yeah. and cheese and sausage. Yeah, it was like sriracha maple sauce, I think they said. Yeah. So, sounds right. interesting. I'll try it without this, the sauce first. You can definitely tell the sausage is plant-based. Yeah, but it's actually, I mean, it's a reasonable substitute. I heard the eggs tasted a little weird. I don't taste anything different about the eggs. To be honest, it doesn't taste like eggs. Yeah, Try it myself. It does or does not? It doesn't. It's got the consistency of like egg. Yeah. It doesn't really taste like egg. Still not, not bad. Let's see. Try a little of the uh, sriracha y maple. Most of it tastes like maple to me. I don't really yeah. get the sriracha. I don't get anything out of it. Bit of tea, but not, much. not bad. California Adventure is kind of lacking in breakfast options, so this isn't bad. Nothing, nothing compared to a Ronto wrap. No, yeah, definitely not as good as the, the breakfast Ronto wraps, but like if you're in California Adventure and you want a breakfast, like you can go over to Smoke Jumpers, I guess. We saw that they have breakfast burritos and stuff over there, but they also look a little strange. I think this is perfectly fine if you're in Avengers Campus and you want breakfast. It's not bad. I'd get it again. All right, quick update to that video. As I kept eating it, the cheese is by far the worst part. It has like a really weird, overly squishy, bizarre kind of texture. Um, it doesn't melt. It doesn't melt. Like normal cheese would. It's just kind of. Yeah. Like I got a bite where I got like a lot of the cheese, and it just felt like soggy pita because it was so squishy. It was. It was not good. Um, by far the best part, now, other than the tater tots, are the best tater tots, but the sausage is the best part, the eggs, the cheese, eh, a little weird. Yeah, I, I'm on board with giving it actually, I think, two, two out of five. I, I wouldn't cheese. get it again. It was, it was weird. If, if this was the only thing here to eat, then yes. Yeah, I, um, I didn't finish it. It still sucked yeah. so. I kind of tore my heart like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Some pieces. <laughs> wow. Now we got... Uh, 30 minutes to kill till Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Cosmic Rewind, Lightning Lane, keep wanting to stay fast, fast. So, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Go wander around. Totally off purpose. Spider Man! Oh, Cheryl, you gotta go to the
I bet this looks cool. How's your margarita squishy there? <clears throat> well, it's not the worst. Definitely not the best. The worst would be when we went to Tilt the Kilt for Bon Jovi. Was it Bon Jovi we saw? It was a quarter concert and it was fun drinkable. Um, it's not as bad as the one that we had from Rita's. Rita's a long time ago and we never tried them again. I don't remember if it was called Rita's then, but yeah, it tasted like Gatorade with tequila. Yeah. It was not good. I mean, cut water margaritas are so much better than this. It's a little weird that we're in California and you cannot, in a, in a park themed after California, and you cannot get a good margarita here. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. It's kind of like when we went to Mexico and we're on an all-inclusive resort and we could not find a good margarita. That's true. Like, they did not know how to make a margarita at the resort, and we were in Mexico. <laughs> Surprisingly, we went to Splitsville yesterday, which we didn't video any of that, but they actually had a quite good margarita from the Casamigos. And then, to my astonishment, they had good, like, tiki drinks. They had a uh, Tropical Itch, which actually was, like, reasonably well done. And they had a painkiller, which was pretty tolerable. It was, it, my painkiller wasn't bad. It was better than the Brickyard in downtown Chandler. I don't know what they did to the Brickyard one, but it did not taste like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. This, this, like, this painkiller at Splitsville started off really good. Like, it kind of tasted like pineapple. You know, you like pineapple, a little bit of the cream of coconut. But then there was some aftertaste at the bottom that yeah, I couldn't at, at finish. At the end, there was a little bit of a weirdness. But it was probably just a cheap liquor. I don't know. Maybe something. a cheap rum. It was probably like Bacardi or something. It, that, that part wasn't great, but <laughs> yeah. the tropical itch was actually pretty good, so. So we had not a bad morning. We got... We went on credit coaster, and then we got off, and I said, let's go on again, because I love that ride. So we got on that twice. We saw Spider-Man do his little show. And then we went and did Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, we were supposed to do Spider-Man. What's that one called? Uh, Web Slinger. Web Slinger, but, but it broke. So we got something, we got for... Toy Story. Toy Story. Yeah. See who wins. Nice and warm. Cream 
Everything is melting. Definitely a 5 out of 5. So good. Highly recommend. Hi, we're back. Why are we staring at me? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways. We just left Trader Sam. Oh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I don't ever do that. He's drunk. I know. No. No. Just had an Ango Lada and a some sort of tiki la casita, whatever that was. I don't know, somewhat tequila in it. It was okay. Not great. Ango Lada was amazing as always. I had the piranha pool and I got my piranha souvenir. We have, I won't probably use it. We have almost every souvenir cup from Trader Sam's now. I mean, not the limited ones, but all the regular ones. So, yeah. But we don't really use them ever. But they're cool. I used like the, the, the barrel one, like once or twice. Yeah, we just caught dust in our comments. <laughs> I also learned that the angolata is equal parts, so I can make it at home. I have all the ingredients. Yay. Uh, the gas wasn't working at Trader Sam's, so we couldn't order anything. We weren't going to order anything. We could just eat it. But the green beans are very yummy. She's obsessed with the green beans. <laughs> They're um, so good. They are so good. If you go, well, yeah, the long beans is what yeah. they call them. But, but they're yes. green beans. They're, they're green just beans. fried greens, but they're so good and they come with like a peony. They are yum. Admittedly, I, I'm not even like a vegetable fan and they are pretty decent, so. Yeah, we had dinner there last night. The, uh, I had a ribeye melt. It was okay. Extremely buttery bread, like soaked in butter. And then to, to lighten that up, I had a uh, maple bacon old fashioned, which was made with a fat washed bourbon. Probably one of the worst old fashions I've ever had. <laughs> tastes like you're drinking fat. <laughs> Literally tasted like bacon grease, like not enjoyable at all. They did, however, have a quite good espresso martini. So can't complain about that. I had the burger, which was kind of random because I never really order burgers from anywhere. Like I like making burgers at home, but I don't like going out for burgers. It wasn't that great. I got like <laughs> portobello fried fries and I had like- Fries. <laughs> they were portobello mushrooms that were fried and I had one bite and I was like, I cannot eat this. It is so freaking- <laughs> they were disgusting. I yeah. took one tiny bite and I'm like, nope. I love mushrooms. And I was like, I cannot, I'm going to puke if I eat 